Hello there, I'm Isabel, and today I'll be making a posable Mario doll based on the movie's design, which is absolutely adorable, by the way. <clears throat> Today's video is also part of a collaboration with other YouTubers to celebrate Mario Day. Everyone's made a Mario related project, so please go watch their video after you finish this one, and happy Mario Day to ya! Alright, let's get started! Or should I say, let's go! I want to be able to move the head around, so I'm gonna make a sort of ball joint, that way the head can pivot on the neck like this. Then I cover the wooden ball with a thin layer of clay. Off camera, I pre-baked these two pieces to make the eyes and I'll stick them to the head. Then I added more clay to build up the face structure. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but I'm gonna smooth it all out and it will look a lot better. I'll refine the eye shape a bit more before adding his signature bulbous nose. And softly blend the clay into the face. I added tiny coils of clay to make his lips, refined the shape a little with my needle tool, and then sculpted his ears. The face does look a bit creepy at the moment, but I'm still gonna go ahead and bake the clay. Once it had cooled down, I sanded the head and also carved the pupils with a Dremel. He still looks pretty curious at this point, but Mario is starting to look a bit more like himself. Well, a bald version of himself? On to the painting. I'll do a couple of coats of beige for his skin, then fill in his hairline in brown. While I finish painting his face, can we talk about the Mario movie? Are you guys excited? From what I've seen so far of this movie, the visuals look absolutely beautiful. I love how true they stay to his 3D design in the games, but somehow made him look even more friendly looking than he already is. Like, look at him! He's so cute! Anyways, back to painting. Once I had finished painting his eyes, I added a coat of UV gel nail polish. People usually use resin for this, but I don't have any on hand. I went in first with a transparent glitter gel, and it looks so pretty. Like, I had to hold myself back with the glitter so the paint job would still show true. After the first layer of gel was cured, I painted his pupil in black and added little white dots for the highlight. I added another layer of gel, but this one is a transparent top coat. I made sure to carefully spread it all over the eye and cured it under the UV light for a few minutes. I know his size aren't perfect, but I think they look really cute. Then I added a bit of pink pastel to blush his cheeks and nose. To make Mario's hair, I made little whiffs of synthetic hair using acrylic yarn and glued those all around his scalp. Fun fact, did you know that Mero's hair is not black like his mustache? It's actually reddish brown. Anyways, I'm not gonna glue hair all the way to the top of his head because it will be covered by his hat. <laughs> Mario looks like he's had a rough day. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a trim so it looks less like a medieval monk haircut and more like a Mario haircut. But with a very regressed hairline. I'm gonna fix that, I swear. Next, I'm gonna wrap his head in plastic film. This feels so wrong to say. Then add a bit of air dry clay to shape his head. I left that to dry and the next day I sanded it all nice and smooth. Then I'll add the cap and the little patch too. Then I left it to dry again and sanded it nice and smooth. I'll set it aside to paint later on. 
To make his eyebrows, I glued the tiny hair wisps to a small piece of tape, let it dry, peel them off and trim them to match the shape of Mario's eyebrows. Then I glued them on his face. For the mustache, I tape off his mouth first. <laughs> this feels so wrong to say. And trace off the shape of his mustache with a pencil. I ripped the tape off laid it flat and glued chunks of hair in the same way I did for the eyebrows. Left that to dry and then peeled it off. I'll then use the shape I had drawn on the tape as a guide to trim the mustache to be the exact dimension I need. A generous coat of glue on his upper lip will hold his mustache in place. Mario's head is complete, let's make the body. I started by making a simple armature, then mixed a bit of two-part epoxy putty, which smells absolutely <laughs> terrible by the way. I added the putty around the hips and the torso to make those parts sturdier. And while I was at it, I also sculpted the neck and attached it to the torso. Once it was dry, I sanded the neck and torso a little bit and painted it beige. I'll use wool and a felting needle to bulk up the body. If you're not familiar with needle felting, basically stabbing the wool multiple times with the needle turns it into felt. Which is nice and flexible, which means I will still be able to bend the wires easily and move Mario's limbs around in any way I want. Here I am stabbing away. I feel like the more this video progresses, the more violent it becomes. Why is crafting so aggressive? Anyways, after a few hours of stabbing, the wool is nice and compact, so I can start making the clothes. For Mario's overalls, I'm using this scrap of stretchy jeans fabric. It's not exactly the right shade of blue, so I'm gonna dye it. I didn't want to buy dye just for this, so I used some old drying inks I had on hand. I know my footage is blurry, but isn't that satisfying to look at? Anyways, I dipped the fabric into the ink and made sure to get it everywhere. I'll set it aside to dry and in the meanwhile, I'll sculpt Mario's hand. I'm not gonna go over the steps in this video, but if you want a more detailed explanation on sculpting hands, you can go check out my Spirited Away video. Once I had completed both hands, I baked the clay and when it had cooled down, covered the gloves in multiple coats of white paint. While I had my paint out, I also did a few coats of red on the hat and finished it off with the signature M on the patch. I also painted Mario's shoes that I sculpted off camera. Now back to the fabric. The jean fabric is now dry and the color looks a lot better. I cut the pieces I needed and sewed everything together. Off camera, I also dyed a piece of fabric red to make the shirt. I didn't film that because, well, it looked like a murder scene. Just look at the ink stains on my hands. Anyways, I patterned, cut and sewed the pieces for the shirt. Then I got Mario all dressed up and glued the two gold buttons on his overalls. Mario is complete. Let's see the final shots. <laughs> Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out the other videos in the playlist and I'll see you next time.